there are reports of any number of Russians who actually have visas uh, trying to get onto their cars and get out of the country, if at all possible, to places like Finland, for example, uh, because they don't want to be part of the conscription drive. Is that what you're hearing as well? Not really. Um, there, and, and the irony is it's, it's increasingly difficult for Russians to get visas to go abroad. Right. Um, but the limited or partial mobilization that Putin announced today uh, concerns 300,000 uh, reserve forces. And they're, they're not even the millions of former uh, army veterans that could be called up in a full mobilization. They're a selected list of people who have special military skills. Um, and so I, I think that I, if I was one of them, I'd be really worried uh, about it. If uh, I mean, it, it's certainly true that Russia has exhausted the number of people who are willing to volunteer to go and fight. Um, they keep expand, trying to expand the pool of available manpower, and this is a huge problem for Russia. But I don't think their military situation is as dire at the moment as some people are suggesting. Um, they did lose that territory around Kharkiv, but it was thinly defended. Uh, and they pulled their forces back uh, in good order. And since then, the Ukrainians haven't really made that much progress, neither in the south nor around Liman. Uh, and so I, I'm not sure that the Russians are as desperate as, as some people are suggesting, but there's, there is no question that they want to rebuild their military force. They, they I mean, everybody, even moderates, uh, agree that they did not bring enough forces to Ukraine. They had sure. they, uh, created a, a front line that was too long to defend uh, and that they, they need more manpower. Right.